I'm glad you joined us. Today is day 19 of our 30 class active chair yoga journey together. We'll focus on poses to help us regain and maintain a healthy posture, including standing cat and cow poses. We launched this video three years ago. Let's experience our chair yoga practice as a community together. Hello and welcome to Bottoms Down Chair Yoga for Everyone. I'm Carol. I'm so glad you've joined us today. So check out the new sections on the Bottoms Down YouTube channel homepage. Just makes it easier for you to find classes by length or by purpose or by body area. And if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. Don't forget, it's free and I'd love to hear from you, so leave me a comment. Now in today's practice, we'll explore poses for a healthy posture. You'll only need your chair and let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start, let's move forward in our chair. We're not leaning back. We're gonna lift our heart nice and tall, right? Pull that belly button in, lower those shoulders down out of the ears. Place your hands lightly on your thighs, palms facing up. We're going to take just a moment to ground those feet, so just feel like all four pressure points are equally weighted on the mat or on the floor, so you're not pronating or supinating those feet, right? You've got them all equally weighted. Same thing with those sits bones. So we're sitting up nice and tall in our chair, and we feel those sits bones equally weighted on the chair. All right, let's go ahead and close our eyes and just connect to that heart center, letting go of everything outside of the room. Now just begin to notice your breath, just your natural inhalation and exhalation. Next, I want you to visualize your spine nice and tall, erect. Visualize all the way from the tailbone up through the spine, out the crown of the head. Begin to deepen that breath, just inhaling a little more deeply, exhaling a little more completely. Bring your hands to your heart. Lift that heart nice and tall. Over-exaggerate that lift through the sternum and set your intentions for today's practice. Just one more breath. Go ahead and bring your hands back down to your thighs and open your eyes. Let's drop that left ear towards that left shoulder. Mm. And chin to chest. Let's go to the other side. And chin to chest. Go ahead and look to the front of the room. Let's look over this right shoulder. Go ahead and look center. And look over that other shoulder. Go ahead and look center. And then we're going to do a shoulder roll. So this is a super exaggerated roll, right? So you're feeling all of those movements that forward and the up and the back and the down and maybe let's reverse that. Should feel really good. One more. All right, beautiful. So we're gonna bring our hands to our heart and lift up long spine. Open up through that throat. Now as you move into your cat pose, I want you to think about pulling these front ribs back. Your tailbone is gonna go heavy, then you round your spine, and then you put your hands on your thighs. 
Tuck the chin, look at your belly. Now we're gonna lift up and we're gonna grab the back of our chair as we lift that heart up into our cow pose. Oh yeah, that should feel good. Let's do that cat pose again. Let's just go ahead and round that spine. Think about front ribs to back, tailbone goes heavy, hands go into the lap. We look at our belly button. We're gonna lift back up, heart lifts, sternum lifts, shoulders are back, grab the chair and lift. Let's inhale here, exhale, round down into cat. Inhale, we're gonna lift up into cow. One more time. Brown down into that cat pose. Oh yeah, that's so good. And release. All right, let's grab a sip of water. So we're gonna to move to the back of our chair so that our spine is nice and supported by the back of the chair, all right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna open our arms kind of like we did, um, uh, kind of like what we do with uh, our mountain pose. So our arms are here low at a diagonal and we're just stretching. So my heart is lifted, my spine is long, I'm pressing against the back of the chair, and then bring those hands in, okay? The next version is we're gonna come a little bit higher, those arms are a little bit higher. And come in. Now they're gonna go a little bit higher. Now this is not up to the ceiling though, right? So it's kind of still at a diagonal, but just a little bit higher. Our heart is lifted, we're pressing against the back of that chair, belly is tight, extending through that spine, one more breath, and bring the hands back down. Okay, so you can keep doing that same thing if you want to. What I like about this version is you've got the back of the chair for support, and you can really feel, I can feel, if I'm letting my, you know, if I'm not extending through that spine, I can really feel it on the back of the chair. But if you're with me, what we're going to do is we're going to move forward just a little bit in our chair. And we're going to do that same thing. So we're going to open our arms here, kind of in that low position, if you will. Make sure your belly is tight. And then, if you can, you're just going to give it a little bit of a back bend. So I'm looking up a little bit higher. I'm really lifting through the sternum squeezing my shoulder blades behind me and I'm feeling a little bit more of a back bend, but belly is tight, it's a tiny back bend. All right, let's release that. Now, if you're still against your chair, I want you to really be pressing against the back of that chair, okay? Let's come to that middle position. Again, I'm squeezing my shoulder blades behind, I'm looking up slightly. And now we go, last version. Arms are a little bit higher. I'm squeezing my shoulder blades behind me. I'm looking up, my belly is tight. And down we go. We're gonna do the exact same thing one final time. You choose, do you want your back against the chair or do you want to be not against the chair? You choose, pick your position. All right, here we go. Arms are down, squeezing, lifting your sternum, lifting that heart, squeezing your shoulder blades behind you, belly is tight looking up slightly. Release it, back to that middle position. Here we go. And release it, are we ready? Up to the ceiling, or towards the ceiling. Up we go, shoulders are down, belly is tight. Feel that stretch. One more breath, hands are down, and release. If you wanna give a little shoulder roll, give a little shoulder roll. All right, now what we're gonna do is, we're, it's, it's a similar to what we did, but we're gonna add a little twist to that. So we're forward, now this one I do want you to be forward in your chair, you're gonna sit nice and tall, go ahead and get those abdominals super engaged, okay? 
So we're going to take, our hands are going to be in our lap. Now this hand, we're going to start with it and we're going to face forward and you're going to take that one arm and open it to the side. Bring it back in and then we're going to do the other side, okay? You're facing forward for now. We're going to add on here in a second. Bring it in. Now it's to the middle position. And you're going to bring that hand down to middle position on the other side. Hand back down now, it's up in that upper position. One arm at a time. Down we go, other side. I don't know about you, but I'm really feeling a nice stretch through my chest and my upper arms, and down we go. Okay, now the next version of this uh, is we're going to continue the same thing, but we're going to follow our arm with our gaze, okay? So it's going to add a little twist to it. So here we go. We're going to twist it open, hand back into the lap, other side, here we go. Hand back to the lap, back to the center, remember, kind of middle, hand to the lap, other side, I'm following that hand with my gaze, back, center, up we go. Down to the lap, other side. All right, we're going to keep going, and right, we're going to add the breath. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, center. Inhale, open. Exhale, center. Other, middle. Inhale, open. Exhale, center. Inhale, open, other side. Exhale, center. Last one. Nice little vinyasa here. Up we go. And exhale down. Up we go on the inhale and exhale and down we go. How did that feel? I love that one. That was a good one. Okay. So now we're going to uh, add another little twist here. So I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to place it right on my waist. Okay. This arm now, this shoulder, excuse me, is going to come back and I'm going to place that hand on the chair. Now, you can use this hand against your waist for a little leverage and try to twist so I'm pulling, I'm pulling my hand on my waist as I twist and look back. All right, so we're nice and warm here, so a nice little twist to the center of the body and we're going to face forward and let's do the other side. So this hand is going to come on that waist, this hand is going to come back Pull that shoulder back, pull this waist forward, if you will, as I turn and look back. So there's just a little bit of leverage with that hand that's on your waist that might give you a little different kind of twist. Go ahead and face forward. We're going to do the same thing just one more time. Here we go. Pull it, hand back, shoulder comes back, turn, look over, and then remember you're kind of using this hand on the waist as leverage. Let's face forward and we're going to do the other side. Hand here, opposite hand on the chair, shoulder comes back, turn, look over that back shoulder, pull on that waist just a little bit, one more breath and release. Just another version, right, of that twist. We do various different versions of twist and that was just a little bit different. I like that one. Okay, so the last thing we're going to do in this particular uh, section is we're going to do a half Lord of the Fishes. So we'll take this knee and we're going to open it up nice and wide. Now in your half Lord of the Fishes, what will inevitably happen is this knee that's facing me is going to want to fold in. But I really want you to focus on not letting that happen. So keeping those knees nice and open, feeling that inner thigh stretch, keeping the knee tracking right at the toes. You're gonna to take this hand, bring it all the way across your body, grab the chair, lengthen through the spine. Now you're gonna turn and look over the back of your chair. So you're not looking at me anymore, you're looking over the back of your chair. We're gonna release that and let's do it again. Here we go. This hand is going to come all the way across your body. You're going to grab the chair. Don't forget, lengthen through the spine first, then turn and look over the back of your chair. All right. 
thinking about that knee, right? Is that knee facing me or is it folding in? Don't let it, don't let it fold. One more breath and release. Okay, let's face forward. And we're gonna go to the other side. So this knee is gonna open up nice and wide first. Remember, keeping this knee open, we're not letting it fold in. Feel that inner thigh stretch. Here we go. Bring this hand all the way across your body. Grab the chair. Are we ready? Lift through the spine. Turn and look over the back of your chair. And just hold it and breathe. Let's release that and we're going to do that one more time. Bring that hand all the way across your body. Lift and twist. That knee is not folding in. One more breath here and release. Okay, face forward. And let's grab a sip of water. We're going to come to standing on the right side of our chair. We're going to move into a tabletop. So you will be hinging right at the hips, pull the belly in, placing one hand in the chair and the other hand in the chair. Now one thing you can do, I just realized my feet are a little bit too close to the chair, so I'm going to step back just a little bit because I want my alignment. I want those hips to be right over my ankles and I want my shoulders to be right over my wrists, okay? So I just needed to do a little bit of adjusting to make that happen. Now one thing to think about, if you, if you have problems with your wrist, feel free to come up onto the, the fists, right? But I do want you to, wherever your hands are, I want you to really feel like you are pulling up through the ribs. So one thing that I see happen in my classes is I'll see people will be here. So not only have I let my belly fall, my shoulders have fallen, right? I want you to use your core and lift yourself up, out. So I'm kind of pulling top ribs back, right? Belly is tight. I'm pulling up. I'm not letting my shoulders sink. I'm pulling up. And at this point, I can literally take my hands off the chair. I don't even have any weight on my wrists. So that's another thing to think about when you uh, are in this position. I'm going to look down at my chair. We're going to move into a cow pose. So I'm going to let my belly fall down towards the mat and I'm going to lift my heart and I'm going to lift my hips. Now I'm going to move into cat pose. So my belly button is going to pull up I'm going to tuck my chin and I'm going to let my tail go heavy as I look down kind of at my legs, if you will. Okay, let's go back into cow again. My belly is falling. My heart is lifting. My hips are lifting. Let's take a deep breath in here. And as we go into cat pose, let's exhale. Pull that belly in, round the spine, tuck the chin. Let's do that again. At your own pace, if you wish. Just your inhale into cow and exhale into cow. Moving, feeling that spine, feeling that lengthening through as we, and then the rounding of that spine. So it's a super, uh, you know, we're very aware of what's happening in our body throughout this entire movement. All right, let's go ahead and finish up. Come back to a neutral spine. Bend your knees slightly, and we're just going to roll it up nice and slow. All right? Give those wrists a little bit of love. Because we're going to come back into that tabletop position, and we're going to get ready for a quadruped. Okay, so belly is tight. We're going to go ahead and come back down. Place your hands in the chair. Make sure your weight is forward. Make sure your hips are right over ankles and shoulders are right over knees. Remember, pulling up. Don't let those shoulders floss, right? We're 
really using the, ex, the abdominal muscles. We're using our back muscles as well. We're lengthening and strengthening throughout the entire center of the body. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our left toes and put them on the floor and we're going to extend that right arm out. I'm looking down. This is version one and this is an excellent version. Let's go ahead and put that hand back down, bring that foot up. We're going to go straight to the other side. Toes are down, hand extends, belly is tight, lift up out of that, uh, you know, the center of the body. You're pulling up, belly is tight, one more breath, put the hand down, bring the foot up, and come up. Okay, so that is a great version, and if you want to keep doing that version, do that version. So we're just going to stay on this side of our chair instead of moving to the other side of the chair. I think we can do it just fine here. All right, so here we go. We're going to roll it down. Put your hands in the chair. Remember, weight is forward. Okay, now take that left toes back, right hand is back, I mean out. You're trying to touch the wall with your hand in front of you. Now, if you were so inclined, lift that leg up Flex the foot. Try to stretch, lengthening through the spine. So I'm touching the wall with my fingertips. I'm touching the wall behind me with my flexed foot. My hips are square. My belly is tight. One more breath. Put your hand down. Put your foot down. And let's roll up and take a little break before we go to the other side. All right, so I'm just kind of giving my wrists a little bit of love. If that's bugging your wrist, remember you can always come to fists. Okay, we're going to the other side, but we're going to stay on this side of our chair. All right, here we go. Down we go. Hands in the chair. Weight comes forward. All right, now, other toe is back. Opposite hand extends. Lift that leg up. Flex the foot. Now you're trying to touch the wall with your fingertips in one direction. You're trying to touch the wall behind you with your flexed foot in the other direction. Stretching through that spine. Hips stay down. Belly is tight. Lengthen through. Stretch it. One more breath. Put your hand down. Put the foot down. Roll it up nice and slow. All right. Good job. Very good for long, elongating that spine, right? Did you feel it? Did you feel that lengthening? We're also doing a little strengthening for that back. The next thing we're going to work on are some tree poses. We're going to do a couple of different versions of tree, and then we're going to let you choose which version you want to do for the third time. So we're going to do three trees. Now, these are balanced poses. You've got your chair right here. We're going to put our weight into the leg next to the chair. Hold on. Create that kickstand. So your heel is right against the ankle of the standing leg. All right. Those toes are going to stay down the whole time. All right. We're not going to take these toes off the floor. They're going to stay down. Think about pulling your belly button into your spine and lifting the uh, pelvic floor muscles. So those are the muscles we use to stop the urine flow. So really think about lifting up through those muscles. Belly is tight. This is the key to balance. No matter which balance you're doing, having this solid center of the body nice and solid and stable, there's the key. Find a spot that's not moving kind of on the wall or the floor in front of you. Focus in on that one spot. Let go of the chair, bring your hands together, pressing those palms together, activating the upper body. If you're so inclined, we're going to add the branches to our trees. We just have one more breath here. Bring your hands back to your heart. Grab the chair and release, okay? So checking in, how did you do on that one? Let's go to the other side of our chair. So again, I want everybody, 
no matter how great of a, of a chair pose, I mean a, a tree pose you have, let's all start in this same kickstand position. You are still working balance, I'm here to tell you. It's working it hard. Belly is tight, pelvic floor muscles are lifted. I'm looking at that one spot that I have found on the floor that's not moving. I'm gonna focus on that spot. I'm gonna let go of the chair and I'm gonna bring my hands to heart and press those palms together. Activating the upper body, belly is tight, heart is lifted. Let's add the branches to our trees, keep the shoulders down. One more breath here. Bring your hands back to your heart, put your hand on the chair and release. Okay, all right, so that is a great, great version. I love that version. And I mean, I think keeping the, uh, for me personally, I believe that keeping your toes down and letting go of the chair, you're gonna be working balance more than if you hold the chair and put the foot up. Okay, so I think you're working your balance more when you let go of the chair, even though you have those toes down. Because you're still, I don't know if you felt it, but I still felt my ankle wobbling a little bit, right? And all that is, is your brain is connecting with that foot and you're, you're, it's working to help you stabilize. The other thing I didn't mention is we always want to come out of those, of those tree poses, those balance poses, mindfully. So as you come out of it, if you fall out of it, I want you to try to get right back in and then come out of it on purpose, mindfully, okay? And then that helps us. That's also is, is a way for us to help continue to build our balance poses. Okay, so let's do it now. You start with your kickstand if you want to. Remember, belly button to spine, pelvic floor muscles are lifted. I'm finding that spot that's not moving. I'm gonna go ahead and lift my foot up off the floor, or don't. And when you're ready, let go of the chair and bring your hands to your heart. Pressing those palms together, activating the upper body, super helpful in balance poses. If you wanna add your branches, go for it. Bring your hands back to your heart. Bring that knee forward and put that foot on the floor mindfully. Grab your chair, okay? Let's do the other side. How did that one work for you? Okay, you can, remember you can keep the toes down. And the other thing to think about is this side could be more willing than the other or less willing than the other. It's very common. All right, now I'm gonna put my weight into the leg next to the chair. I'm gonna start with that little kickstand. I'm gonna hold onto that chair, pull that belly in, lift those pelvic floor muscles, find that spot that's not moving. Maybe you put the tongue in the roof of the mouth. All of these things help. Okay, let's go ahead and lift that foot up. And if you wanna let go of the chair, bring your hands to your heart. Pressing those palms together. Let's add the branches to our trees. Belly is tight, shoulders are down. Bring the hands back to the heart. Bring the knee forward and put the foot down. Very, very good. Okay, final one, Yogi's Choice. You can pick and choose. Now, one of the things I'm gonna add on with our hands when we come into our uh, branches, then I'm gonna say hands overhead, interlace fingers, and flip the palms up. If you wanna do that with us, do it. If you don't, leave it out. Here we go. Wait into that leg. Go ahead and add the kickstand or the foot up, right? Either whatever works for you. Let go of the chair. Bring that palms together. All right, are we ready? Branches to those beautiful trees. Palms together overhead. Interlace fingers. Flip the palms to the ceiling. Looking up. Super challenging. Gaze back down. Hands back to heart. Bring that knee forward. Put the foot down and release. Other side, this is the last one. We got this. All right, are we ready? Here we go. Kickstand or bring the foot up, let go of that chair. Don't forget, belly button to spine, pelvic floor lifted, branches are added. Palms together overhead, interlace fingers, flip those palms up, look up. Oh boy. 
Look back down, hands back to heart, bring the knee forward, put the foot down mindfully. Very good. Okay, let's have a seat and grab a sip of water. So we're gonna sit up nice and tall, and I want you to have your hands in front of you, palms facing up. We're gonna take those arms and we're gonna move them out, and then we're gonna lift those hands up about shoulder length, or shoulder height, keep those palms up. Now, you're gonna turn your hands, fingertips in towards the ears, now those hands are going to come out and around and then the fingertips are going to point towards the middle of the belly. And then you're going to take those hands and move back to their starting position. So the idea here is to not lose whatever you have on the trays, which is right in the palms of your hands. Now we're going to reverse it. All right, are we ready? We're going to bring it around first. Out they go up and around bring those hands back down to our starting position we're going to do that again here we go out they go palms up about shoulder width or shoulder height fingertips come back and around around they go towards the middle of the body out and reverse it just a little work for those shoulders. Back down they go. Can we do it one more time? I know, we've got this. Up they go. Around. It almost takes three times to figure out what we're doing, doesn't it? <laughs> Hand me your trays. Let's come back in. Back around we go. Up. And around. I think I lost the tray on my right hand. And down we go. Very, very good. That one's a little tricky. It's good though. Okay, so we're going to come to those cactus arms and we're going to squeeze our shoulder blades behind our back. Now, I want you to take this hand and bring it across and it's not going to be on the collarbone, but just under the collarbone. We've got this little group of muscles there and I want you to put your fingers there and kind of hold that that group of muscles tight. Now you're going to look over your shoulder at the same time you're going to press your cactus arm back. Do you feel that? Oh my goodness. I don't know about you but I feel that one. Just one more breath. Go ahead and bring that cactus arm back in and release, okay? Whew. Let's do the other side. Did you feel that one? All right, here we go, cactus arms. Now we're gonna do the other side. So I'm gonna put my hand right under that collarbone. I'm gonna look over, not the arm, not the cactus arm, look over the other side. Now, the arm that's in cactus, you're gonna bring that shoulder back behind. There you go, you feel it? I do. We're just holding it and breathing. Holding it and breathing. One more breath. Bring the cactus arm back forward. Look forward and release. Let's do that one more time. Just one more time. Here we go. Bring it across. Look. Press back. Mm. Come back center. Cactus arms. Other side. Look and press it back. Come back center and release. All right, does that feel good? Okay, let's go to crescent lunge. So I'm gonna take my knee and I'm gonna open it nice and wide. Then I'm gonna let this knee fall down towards the floor. This could be where you wanna stay, but if you're with me, I'm gonna press my uh, leg back. I'm back on those back toes. I'm going to let the kind of the kneecap, back of the kneecap, press up towards the ceiling. I'm looking forward, come to cactus arms, 
Squeeze your shoulder blades behind you and look up at the ceiling. So that's quite a stretch for not only the quadricep, but also the hip flexor. Let's release everything and we're going to do that again. Even if you have your knee down, do the arm movements. Okay, here we go. I'm pressing the back of my kneecap up to the ceiling. I'm coming to those goalpost arms. I'm going to squeeze my shoulder blades behind me and I'm going to look up at the ceiling. Just one more breath here. Bring your hands back down. Release that leg and face forward. Okay, same leg extends out in front. We're going to lengthen through the spine and we're going to let our heart fall forward. Keep your hands on those thighs if you want to for some support. Tuck the chin and roll it up. Extend through the spine nice and long. Let your heart fall forward. Tuck the chin and roll it up. Lengthen through the spine, keeping the back flat. Let that heart fall forward. Tuck the chin and roll it up. Nice. Okay, we're gonna to move to seated pigeon. So I'm gonna cross ankle to knee. And then I'm going to lengthen through my spine and I'm going to let my heart fall forward. All right, let's go ahead and roll it up and I'm going to flutter my butterfly. Okay, let's do that again. This time extending the spine long, put your elbow right there in front of the knee, put your chin on those fingers and give it a gentle press. This is just an option. If you don't like it, leave it out. It's okay. Let's come up and flutter that butterfly. All right, we have another version, extending this uh, hands to the ceiling. Now shoot those fingertips towards the wall in front of you, and then just let them fall down towards the floor. All right, come up. And let's go to the other side. So I'm going to take this knee and we're going to open it nice and wide. We're going to let this knee, opposite knee, fall down towards the floor. If you like this, that's great. Otherwise, you're going to push your leg back behind you. You're on those back toes. Back of the kneecap presses up towards the ceiling. Look over your front knee. Come into cactus arms. Squeeze your shoulder blades behind your back. Look up at the ceiling. Let's release it, and we're going to do that again. Here we go. You got it. And release. Face forward. Pyramid pose. Extending that same leg out in front of you, toes to the ceiling. Lengthen through the spine. Let that heart fall forward, keeping the back flat. Tuck the chin. Roll it up nice and slow. Lengthen through that spine. Let that heart come forward, keeping the back flat. Tuck the chin and roll it up. Extend the spine long, belly button to spine, back is flat. Tuck the chin and roll it. Ah, beautiful. Pigeon pose, here we go. My ankle is on my knee, and maybe I stay right here. This could be fine. Otherwise, you're going to lengthen through the spine and let that heart fall forward. All right, keeping the back flat so we're not rounding. Up we go. Let's flutter our butterfly. Do it again. Extend the spine long. This time maybe the elbow goes there on that knee. And place your chin on those fingers and press. All right, let's come up. Flutter again. Last time, extending the spine long, hands to the ceiling. Hands come out towards the wall in front of you. And then you just let them fall towards the floor. All right, up 
we go. Go ahead and sit back in your chair. Hands are resting lightly on your thighs, palms facing up. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And a full breath out. Power and Disillusion Consider what a good thing it is when you are disillusioned. It is irrefutable evidence that you care. But you must not permit yourself to merely wallow in disillusionment. Rather than waste your disillusionment on negativity, transform it into inspiration, into positive action. Disillusionment points to the higher ideal. Such a strong sense of what you want, don't want, can clearly illuminate what you do want. When you feel disillusioned, ask yourself why. Articulate what is wrong, then challenge yourself to precisely identify what would make things right. You have the power to make those things happen in your own unique way. More importantly, you have the passion to do so, as is evidenced by your disillusion. Tap deeply into the insight and power that underlie your feelings of disillusion. Put them to use in the service of goodness, of beauty, of truth, and life. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Reach up with the right hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that left hand down towards the floor. Release it. Drop your chin towards your chest. Reach up with your hands. Give the head a gentle tug. Release it. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Reach up with the left hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that right hand down towards the floor. Release it. Look up just slightly. Open your mouth if you want to stretch your jaw. Bring your hands to your heart. Honoring one another, we say Namaste. Thank you so much for joining today. Remember, leave me a comment, click on that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.